the increasing fan following of modern classics in Europe has intrigued Asians as well. Kawasaki has become the first Japanese manufacturer to come up with a classic of its own, the Z900 RS, that takes design cues from the 70s Kawasaki Z1, Kawasaki Z900 RS. The Z900 RS carries forward the older school design in the form of a teardrop-shaped tank, side panels, flat ribbed seat and long tail piece. The exhaust too carries the same angle, though it is a single 4 into 1 unit as opposed to the 4 into 2 twin exhausts on the original. Underneath the retro design hides modern instrumentation. The retro-looking headlamp, tail lamp and turn indicators use LED lighting. The twin pod instrument cluster too has analog meters but hides an LCD display in the middle. The riding position is street-oriented, with a flatter handlebar in low and forward set foot pegs that points to upright ergonomics. The frame is from the Z900 but has been reworked to fit the retro fuel tank and seat. The 17-inch alloy wheels have an old school design with a machine rim for that old school effect. Suspension components comprise of adjustable 41mm upside-down forks and a side-mounted adjustable mono-shock damper from the Z900. The bike weighs two 215 kilograms curb Kawasaki Z900 RS the 300 mm dual discs have mono block calipers as opposed to the Z900 which come with conventionally mounted units it gets ABS as well other rider <laughs> update